Welcome to everybody to this very special evening um, uh, in which we host uh, Ingenier uh, Lazzarini, President of the Foundation Barsalti Marconi. People of technology. E in collaborazione con, con gli amministratori di quella città un qualcosa che possa dimostrare con simulacri, quindi non con motori funzionanti, l'opera di Barzanti Martinucci. In order to fly, the great Leonardo da Vinci lacked an engine. Today, thanks to the engine invented by Barsanti and Matteucci, man has been able to realize his dream and fly at once unimaginable speeds. The internal combustion engine, modified, miniaturized, adapted and improved, but the main idea remains the same, roars in powerful automobiles that give us shivers and exultations while dashing at fantastic speed engine on earth, in the sky, and on the sea, on every latitude and through every possible means, in every continent, in the great factories and laboratories, sings and will forever sing the glory of its creators, Barsanti and Matteucci. The invention of the internal combustion engine revolutionized the world, shortened distances, relieved man's fatigue, changed his relationship with nature, profoundly marked modern civilization for better or worse, and engaged humanity in the search for future models of rationally compatible development. Invented during the 1850s as a response to the common need of all of the most highly industrialized and evolved societies, the internal combustion engine has had many fathers, among them the French Etienne Lenoir, as well as the German Otto and Langen, and later Rudolf Diesel. But very few know that the first steps taken in the history of the engine, the first patents, the first realizations, essentially the first internal combustion engines which appeared in our civilization, are due to the genius and perseverance of the two Italian scientists and inventors. A Sculpian priest, Father Eugenio Barsanti of Pietra Santa, and an engineer, Felice Matteucci of Lucca. The first noble and grand adventure of the human spirit took place in Florence during a brief period of about 10 years between the 5th of June 1853, the official date of the birth of the first internal combustion engine, and the 19th of April 1864, the date of Barsanti's premature death in Belgium. The foundation has used Barsanti and Matteucci's original designs to commission expert mechanical workshops to build several models of the first internal combustion engine. It did this so that everyone will be able to realize the importance of Barsanti and Matteucci's discovery and, above all, understand the technological context of their times, one where engines were steam-driven. Relativamente alla forza motrice applicata dalle macchine a quella del vapore. I models are either life size, as is the one donated to the National Museum of Monaco, or on a one to two scale, as in the illustrations. The models are accurate down to the smallest detail, as they are based on the original drawings, which were rediscovered through the Foundation's exhaustive research rinvenuti dopo scrupolose e approfondite ricerche storiche da parte della fondazione stessa.
We hope that you have enjoyed this documentary and that in this discovery of a discovery you have learned that the internal combustion engine was not discovered by the Germans or the French but by two extraordinary Italians, Barsanti and Matteucci. For, after all, doesn't everyone agree that we are a nation of inventors, poets and navigators? <laughs>